We are working our way through the middle of this work and school week and thankfully we've had quite a bit of sun to get us through it. The sun always just kind of adds a little extra pep in your step and that's what we're finding on our Jet Express Cam. Blue skies, a few lighter clouds that are out there. Those cirrus clouds are not carrying any rainfall with them, but you are going to find a time the sun is a little more filtered because yesterday we had nothing but blue skies here and today a little more cloud cover and that will continue to build as we go through the rest of this week. You'll find that even here on our sunshine tracker that blue line that's representing our cloud cover and that's actually going to be falling into those cloudier conditions and then it looks like we'll get at least a little bit of a break in the clouds but maybe not enough to add blue skies into the forecast. We'll have some cloudy conditions as temperatures are a little bit cooler. We all know that in the winter season, it's our cloudy season, and that means the cold air, some clouds that kind of go hand in hand almost, and that's what we're going to find as we go into the weekend and early next week. Now, temperatures average wise, they should be around the mid 40s, and already we're just at 40 degrees, so we're getting there as we go through the day. But still, overall, you'll find that here, those states that are further north, they're kind of locked into a little bit of a cooler pattern. So that warmth from the south, not quite making it to us. So the snowbirds are not bringing that back with them as they migrate north. But you are going to find a little bit of a cooler spell as we get settled in here to March. But for the next four days, there's kind of a lot going on. Thankfully, we have dry weather, still looking at some mild conditions, some sun, temperatures around 43 for both today and tomorrow. Still looking nice on Thursday, a little more cloud cover, but here's that heads up. We do have that alert day for Friday. We give, uh, give you that advance notice. We want you to be the first one to know that we are going to be looking at some steady snowfall for Friday morning. And that's why we're going to be having that alert day because more than likely your morning commute is going to be impacted. Also temperatures with the system, it's going to bring in cooler air. So that's why you're going to find highs to be in the mid thirties for Friday and into Saturday. And with enough cooler air around, I wouldn't be surprised if even a few flurries try to be here for the weekend, but nothing though that should ruin your weekend plans. So let's break down though that alert day that we have. It's going to be on Friday and we are going to have that steady snowfall mainly in the morning. So that's going to be around the time kids are headed off to school going. Folks are going to be going off towards work. So that means a little bit slow as far as that travel in the morning, even keeping up. Of course, our snow uh, snow plows and road crews are going to be out there, but I'm still going to even be mind, uh, keeping an eye to our exclusive school delay hotspot map as we head into Friday morning, just because that snow, the timing of it, not so great. And that's why I'm anticipating a little bit of a slower start on Friday. But as we go through time, like I had mentioned, Wednesday, Thursday, going to be on the dry side, not a lot going on. So pretty quiet for today. As we go through Thursday, pretty quiet as well, hoping to get still some sun before we have that storm. That's going to be rolling in after midnight into the very first hours of Friday morning. And with it, then it's going to be bringing some snow. So you will actually see some of our heaviest and steadiest of snow is where we have these more bl vivid blue colors. And that's going to be rolling through here at 6 a.m. So right as many of you are starting that morning commute. The other thing to keep an eye to is this rain snow line. It's actually going to be set up a little bit further south than what we've been working with with some of our previous storms. So that means that some rain could be cutting into some of that snowfall, limiting then those snow totals. So we will definitely be watching for some of that steadier snow to be here through the morning. But as we advance through then the later morning, actually we're pivoting through the back half of the system. So we'll still have a few snow showers Friday afternoon, but even as we wrap up Friday and go into the weekend, the system will make a complete exit. So this is what we're looking at as far as those snow totals. So you are going to be finding those conditions further north to be a little bit higher because that's where we're going to not have as much rainfall to cut in. So if you're into southeast Michigan and our northern tier of counties, that's going to be Lucas, Fulton, Williams County, you're going to be in that three to five zone. That's going to actually even be trailing a little bit further south, but then we will be greeted with that two to four inch zone. That's going to be along and south of the Maumee River. And then you can see into Wyandotte Crawford County where I was pointing out that rain snow line. You're going to be looking at about an inch or two still of some snowflakes falling, though you will have that rainfall that tries to cut in. So like I said, the impacts with this alert day are going to be that commute as we go into Friday morning, though the stoplights disappeared. I would plan on Friday morning to be a little bit slow and even midday, but into the later half of Friday that will start to improve. So thankfully it's been pretty quiet here to get us started. Not a lot to do as far as radar work on the 
WTOL well, Love and Weather app, but if you have the daily tab, you can see that alert day on there. You can also get forecast videos and updates there as well. We just had one go out a little bit ago, and those are going to continue to come from members of the WTOL well, Love and Weather team. So make sure you're staying up to date on that Friday alert day with the WTOL well, 11 Weather app. Like I said, Wednesday, Thursday, it's just a little bit of calm before the storm that we have on Friday, and then the weekend looking fairly good, a little bit cooler with those highs in the mid to upper 30s, a little more cloud cover Saturday, and then even a quick system that rolls through Sunday and into Monday. And that's going to be bringing us some snow showers and even a little bit of lighter snow. So we will be keeping an eye to that one. But then much of next week does quiet down. We'll see though if next weekend we can squeeze out another system. That's what we're hinting to towards day 10 in this forecast. But also though hoping those temperatures can bump their way out of the 30s considering it's March after all and we're trying to do that spring thaw. And also, like I said, have that WTO Well 11 weather app. Make sure you're getting those updates from the WTO Well 11 weather team as we update you on that upcoming alert day.